Good morning, Tim from uh, Troopy in Africa, and I'm with uh, my friend Sean. Are they? Are they? Good morning. He's a member of our Troopies in Africa, and uh, the two of us have been discussing the, the the pros and cons of of the two roof conversions. You've got the Alucab Hercules on this side, and the Coronas from Alu Innovations on that. Right. Side. We're going to do a completely unbiased review of the two troopies by simply showing you the stats and the measurements and all those sorts of things so that it is completely unbiased in its uh, assessment and you guys can make your call either way. Right, the first test, measurement from the top of the roof to the top of the rub on the windscreen is 330 millimeters here. Let's go check the other one. And the Kronos, I have to... As we all know, significantly lower. 270 that's a good 60 mils that's the difference there 60 mils and then moving down the side that's what you get there. so the biggest difference between Hercules and Coronas is the kink in the roof and there you can see it and interestingly enough, it also kinks the other way. And let's see if I can get a shot of it. If you look there, it actually kinks in to the side. I'll go and get the, whereas the alley cab is very vertical. By way of interest, to the top of the load bar is 200 and 23,5 Okay So the height of the Coronas here is 24, 23, they're pretty much the same 24, 23 and a half to the load bar This is the back corner of the Hercules and the back corner of Coronas. Again you'll notice the back of the Coronas kicks in at an angle whereas the Hercules again is vertical. Handle and catch and in fairness Alucab gave me these beautiful ones because mine broke. Handle and catch Okay, standard on the Coronas is a rear tail light. Yes, I had to specifically ask Alucab to put my light back on the back. The load bars on the roof, tread plate, we've got the solar system. Load bars and the roof of the Coronas, also tread plate over there. Right, so our next measurement will be the load bars. We're going to measure the load bar and the hopes that I get to there. Is that right? Sean, have we got it? Yep. So that's a two meter load bar there and it doesn't extend uh, beyond the front. Okay, so now I'm going to measure this one. I just want to, Sean, if you can pass me that. I just want to show the viewers that the Coronas actually runs down the kinked front roof as well. So I don't think there's any argument it's got a longer load bar, but what would be interesting to know is the level load bar. So level load bar. 1890 20 mils difference. Not much in the diff in the in the length of the um, something you do need to note, again let me just show viewers here, if you look straight down the, the length of the, if you look 
straight down the length, you'll see that the front kinks in off of the line of the roof like that. So there we're straight, it kinks in and down. But still you're very usable. Very good. So going inside the Hercules, this is what the overhead shelf looks like. This is the light that you get. And I don't know if we're going to get in there. But to the side above the driver's and passenger door, there's a black card that closes it off. This is vinyl covered with an edge trim. And inside, you will see carpet on the bottom. Above is painted white. So coming inside on the Coronas, this is what we've got. Here's a horizontal light in the center. So above the passenger and driver's door is the similar card. Interestingly, this one's formed in aluminium to close that gap. The shelf is also made in aluminium and painted, not vinyl coated. And inside we have a rubber mat. And again, same white above the door there. Right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna check here firstly on the Hercules, the dimension from inside of the standard cup holder to the underside of there, because obviously that influences what headroom you've got here first and foremost so oh, i have to get my glasses oh <laughs> we're gonna do it again well, no, we're gonna just leave that <laughs> right so we've got sorry i had to get my glasses uh 1045 so one meter and 45 right and so here we go on the coronas from the cup holder to the underside is 1015. So while we're here in the Corona store, I'm going to just check from the standard cup holder to the underside of the actual conversion floor. So we are 1120. 1120. Let's go see what the Hercules does. Okay. The interesting thing is the parcel shelf seems to pull over a bit more on this so i have to move my cup coffee out the cup holder and the underside of this is 1160 1160 okay again while we're here let's check the parcel depth is 270 depth so that lines up pretty much almost with the outside edge of the handle Go check what the Coronos does. Right, and here on the Coronos, it's 230. Just a little pan of the floor area at the front. So you see you've got carpeting on the frame in the Coronos. So the floor appears to sit on top. Okay, here's a pan on the front finish on the in the Hercules carpeted and that is the finish on the aluminium not quite as deep it seems to be recessed into there here we have the gas struts in relation to the first rear window so this is the position of the gas struts in relation to the back window a thing to note is the difference between the two is the bracket on the Hercules is exposed. Whereas there's no bracket on the Aluniversion. From the front, down the side of the Coronos, you've got this nice neat aluminium closer piece to the underside. A look at the Hercules down the side. 
no closer piece. Interface of the Hercules floor pieces and the handle. Interface of the two floor pieces on the Coronas and the strap that pulls it down. Right, let's get to opening it. Yeah. Both the same mechanism. Then push and wrap. so much higher on your bull bar for your rear bar okay i've never done this one before yeah same amount of weight going up all right so just for fun we're going to measure the outside before we need to measure the bed so yeah we have 1235 one, two, three, five. Right, and then over here. Whoops. We have 1270, so 35 moles difference on the outside. Sean is going to show us the Alucare, right. which is go. very much the same exercise to get in. That happens. Opening up the pinch, and then it's a simple flip up. Okay, here we have the alu cab internal white on the sides here, not carpeted. Lights over here, as opposed to up on the roof, we'll see now. So we have one reading light there and one reading light there, as one all knows. Same seat. Right, inside the Coronos, after opening it, the side is coated with carpet, and we have the similar seat scenario to the Hercules at the back. Got the same inside opening tent. There you have it ceiling four pockets and a roof light and the same inside so the roof is very much the same right and at your door here you do have a type c and a type qc3 USB Type C and Type e, QC3 USB ports on the side. One on the driver's side. Uh, there are none over there. Right to measure this. So the same applies. We're going to go to the front. Here we have got 1955. The mattress itself is 1160 um, and the same applies you've got the additional room to the wall so you have 1250 on here 1250 so one thing to notice though unlike the Coronos the there's a dip here next to the mattress um, I imagine the mattresses are the same thickness. So let's get the measurement of the Hercules bench. So the mattress itself <clears throat> is 500. And then if we push it to there, the bench itself is 600. So that's a good 80 mils short over here, which is a little odd. Right, the length of this mattress. I'm going to take it straight to the front over there. 
that's technically that's so that's 1.9 meters to the front and I'm going to check the height of that as well and then the width is 1130 but I think what's important to note is that that carpeted area gives you a little extra space to 1220 so technically wall to wall is 1220 and then once we take that up let's just add this on so we add this on we're another 530 or 560 it's about 30 mils 530 or 560 okay uh, the last measurement we want to do is just here at the back from the underside of the, the, the floor to the standard floor I've got the standard vinyl mat still in mind so this is very much standard and so we've got 1170 to the underside of the roof so that's your clearance 1170 let's go check over here now Sean's got a little flaw in here so we'll subtract that for and we'll add that to the measurement yeah we've got 1120 so call it 1130 so Sean and I are trying to understand where that um, level change came in there's about a 40 mil difference and if you look here at the Hercules the distance there above the window and so if we check the Coronas you'll see they've dropped it a little bit more inside to give you that 40 more difference right here we have all the numbers for you to look at I hope this video has been informative and helpful at the end of the day in my opinion the final choice on a roof conversion is a personal subjective one Thank you for joining us at Troopy in Africa. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. Cheers. Tree closer, big tree. <laughs>